What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about DaVinci Resolve workflow for Apple Mac users. Now let's recap. I have the Apple M1 Mac Mini, 16 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigs of storage. Now outside of that I have three extra terabytes of storage, two SSDs and one terabyte hard drive. Now if you're like me, I just switched from PC to the Mac ecosystem. So far I love it, but I have ran into a few issues. One issue is, when I export my video from DaVinci Resolve, my colors are off, they look washed out, they look faded. And what I came to find out is, Apple used a different color science on all their devices. But lucky there's a fix for that natively inside DaVinci Resolve, thanks to Blackmagic. Now we're about to hop into Resolve. I'm going to show you the steps you need to take before you start editing your clips. Now let's do it. Okay guys, so now we're in DaVinci Resolve. The first thing we need to do is click on DaVinci Resolve, click Preference. And then we need to make sure that these first three are checked. 10 bit precision, Mac display color profiles, tag Rec 709 scene clips as Rec 709A. Then we hit Save. Next, we need to go into our settings. We need to go down to color management and make sure that we have DaVinci YRGB. And then for timeline color space, we need to actually select Rec 709A. Now by doing that, we're ensuring that when we color grade, we have the most accurate colors possible. Okay, now we can start color grading our clips. Okay guys, once you're done editing and color grading, there are two more steps you need to take before you can export your image. So before we export, we need to click advanced settings. We need to make sure our color space tag is Rec 709 and our gamma tag is Rec 709A. Once we make sure that these are set, then we can go ahead and export our video. Like I said earlier, I love my Mac mini. I love being a part of the Apple ecosystem. Even with all these extra steps I have to take in my workflow, my entire workflow time has become much faster. Even though we have to take a few extra steps in our workflow now, our workflow is still much faster than what it used to be. In total, I think I shaved about 8-10 to 10 hours off of my workflow time easily. And that's for each project. So that pretty much means everything can get done at a faster pace. But thank you to everybody who checked out this video. Thank you to everybody who stuck around. Thank you to all the new subscribers because of you, this channel is now starting to grow. And before we go, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Hope you have a good day. Peace.